Hello everyone, welcome to this question. So this is a question that is asked by a student. So this question is from Fort, from Fortran. Okay, this question is from Fortran and the question is matrix multiplication. Okay, question is matrix multiplication. So before solving the question in matrix uh, of matrix multiplication in Fortran, I hope you know the concept of matrix multiplication. So if this is, uh, these are two matrices, uh, suppose A and B. So the row should, um, you know, the element of row uh, should multiply the element of uh, column and then there should be a partial sum. Yeah, this into this plus this into this plus this into this, like this we have to multiply. So it is of, if it is of order 2 by 3, so this would be order of the row and column so here the row should be equal to the column of this that is this would be ordered of 3 into something okay so this and this should be equal the column of first should be equal to the row of second okay so what all uh, functions we are going to perform is you are going to uh, multiply element by element and then do the partial sum only then we will get the element of third element that is the matrix multiplication we are going to get the element here Fine, so I hope you know the concept. So in C programming, I have already made a video on matrix multiplication. So if you don't know the concept of multiplication, go and check. Still, I'll uh, try to explain very briefly here. So here, if this is of order M by N and this is of order P by Q. So this will be of order M by Q. Okay. We'll use here three loop here, I, J and K. Okay. So the loop of i it runs from 1 to m, okay. I uh, the loop of j it runs from 1 to q, and the loop of k it runs from 1 to n. Okay, this is the row and column thing that I have. Uh, this is these are the loop. Okay, after three loop, these are these are the three loops that uh, that will be run. That is nested loop. So inside this three loop, what we'll do is we are going to sum, okay that is the partial sum plus first matrix suppose first matrix is a so a i k into b second matrix k j okay so this here one loop ints suppose if you are using k loop so k loops it ints here after that we are going to store the sum that is suppose c i j is equals to sum so second loop that is j loop ints here here and then you know uh, sorry after this uh, storing the sum in result we are going to initialize the value of sum to 0 because each time we are going to find the sum of element okay so after finding the sum of first row and column we are going to uh, initialize the sum value to 0 so that other value can be stored okay next so finally this is our you know uh, concept of multiplication. So let me solve this using Fortran. Okay, I hope you know this concept because it's very important for uh, C as well as for Fortran if the multiplication question comes. So here starts our question. So the question is, the question they have asked is write a program to read two matrices of suitable order for multiplication and find the product find the product okay so uh, let me write the program from here so let the name of my program be a multiplication program multiplication okay first step let us consider the you know row and column of all the matrices so m and n be the order of first matrix p and q with order of second matrix okay okay one new thing you are going to learn if you want to set the value of m and pq so you can use a statement cal called parameter using this parameter statement you can set the value of m and n initially only okay like we do in c you know define same way you can set the value here so i you see i have taken the value of this two are equal because they have told that to uh, you know consider suitable order of matrix r cell okay 
नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू इनिशलाइज द मैट्रिसेस सो लेट द फर्स्ट मैट्रिक्स बी ए विच विल बी ऑफ ऑर्डर एम बाई एन विच इज ए सेकेंड मैट्रिक्स बी बी विच विल बी ऑफ ऑर्डर पी बाई क्यू सो आसर रिजल्ट मैट्रिक्स विल बी एम बाई क्यू ऑर्डर एंड वी हैव थ्री यू नो वेरिएबल आई जे एंड के एंड कॉस आर वेरिएबल सम Okay, these are the initialization things. Okay, so now what are it? Yeah. Okay, these are the initialization thing. So now let's start our program. So first of all, we we'll read the element of first matrix. So write star star into first matrix. Okay. So what is our first matrix? So it is I think A yeah two by three. So two uh, I equals to one. This is my row. If I write here one, that's okay. If I don't write here one, it means it is incremented by one itself. Okay. So this is now for second uh, n thing n you know column. I'll not be using do loop. I'll be using implied do loop. Okay. So please that uh, you know what is implied do loop. It is very important. So I J. And g equals to one comma n. Okay, now I'll do in do. If you don't know what is implied do loop, see my theory video in important playlist. Fine. So in this way, I'll I have read you know first matrix. Just uh, let's read second matrix. Write star star into second matrix. Do i equals to one to p. Yeah. Read star star and second matrix is B. So I comma J and comma J equals to one comma Q. Fine. Very easy. Into. So here I read my second matrix. Now what we have to do? We have to find the multiplication using the three loops concept. Okay. So as I explained earlier. Now I will slice my sum value to zero here. Do loop. For i equals to one to m, do loop for j equals to one to q, do loop for k equals to one to n. Now I'll find the sum. Sum equals to sum plus e i k into b k j. Yeah, you remember this we have done in C. First, finally, I'll end do. This do, okay. Then I'll store the value in C. C i comma j equals to sum, okay. And each time we do, we have to initialize the value of sum equals to zero again for the next element, okay. So here we end a another do, okay. Uh, we in the wait. I don't have a space, so I'm thinking where to write. Let me scroll this a more. So here I'll end do second do, and again we'll end the do loop third do. Okay. So multiplication is done. Now we want to what we want to display the result. Yeah. So write star star the product. Matrix is do i equals to one m. Uh, what is the product matrix C? Yeah. So write star star C i comma j j equals to one comma q. Fine. So here we end our do. And here we end our program. Okay, so this is the program for matrix multiplication as it was asked to be solved. Okay, now uh, many questions I have already solved in Fortran. Okay, so you can check last year videos. I'll be saving that videos in Fortran playlist so that you not get confused. So check those videos. I have solved a number of questions there. Still, if you have any confusion, let me know. And uh, this is the. One more question is there. Let me solve that also. Okay. Transpose of a matrix. Okay, transpose of a matrix. Even this is important. 
transpose of matrix even these question is these questions are very important whatever we are solving so let us start program so i hope now transpose you can solve very easily because if you have done ma matrix multiplication so transpose is nothing so let us consider a uh, matrix a of order 2 by 3 and matrix uh result matrix that it be t of order 3 by 2 because transpose you know row is converted to column column is converted to row therefore whatever the order is of matrix you have to just take the reverse order now write star star enter matrix okay so do i equals to 1 comma 2 you have to read the matrix read star star and the first matrix is a so a i comma j comma j equals to 1 comma 3 okay again using which loop imply do loop in do now let's go to the uh, finding the transpose of matrix so do i equals to 1 comma 2 do j equals to 1 comma 3 Okay, and we'll find the result. That is, I think the result here I store in T. Yeah, so T J comma I J comma I equals to A I comma J. That's all. Into into. Okay, so we have used your nested loop. Okay, we cannot use implied loop. Implied loop is used for read and write. That's why we have used your nested loop. Okay, that's all. Now we have to. print the matrix transpose matrix so we can print it here write star star the transpose matrix is do i equals to 1 comma 3 and write star star and the result is what is our result mm, it is t yeah t i j so here again we can use our transpose matrix if you see j equals to 1 comma 2 okay in do and in da program fine so that's all for the question some question i have already done in studies video so okay that's all for four ten so next someone has asked me to okay i have to make through two three videos on uh, finding the output type question yeah so i have already solved that but i am not getting time so first i'll make a video on that and then i'll make a video on uh, someone has commented to make a video on um, all the questions like uh, what all questions are there okay so i'll prepare a, only for theory question i'll prepare okay so this question this question so it will be type of revision for you okay so i'll upload a video soon uh, stay safe and thank you